were sort of getting ready to go to sleep, everyone was laying down, all the tents were up, um, and then we saw riot police lining up around the park, and then they pulled these giant trucks up with these huge lights to shine all over the park. So every, all of us occupiers were just doing like a rallying call of like, everyone wake up, wake up police raid, police raid. Um, then we got out all the people we knew had to avoid arrest, so we got out anyone who wasn't a U.S. citizen so that they wouldn't risk deportation. We got all the priority people out. And then those of us willing to stand ground, we sort of slowly got pushed to the center of the park, uh, which is the kitchen. And so we, there was about 100, 150 protesters uh, uh, surrounding the kitchen, and we all sat on the ground and locked arms, uh, locked, locked our legs with the people in front of us so that we were like a tight-knit bundle of peacefulness. Like, we weren't there to harm anyone. Uh, we were singing, we shall overcome, we were chanting. Um, everyone was, everyone, these were all strangers around me and everyone was just like, I love you. And it's like, yeah, we're here, like, I love you too. Um, and the cops were just like looking over us, trying to avoid seeing us as humans. I saw one, one cop we saw, the older cops seemed to be the ones most emotionally affected. We saw one, one cop who was crying. Um, all the young cops who looked like fresh, fresh cops were all just like standing up straight and looking straight ahead and trying to avoid the whole humanity of the moment. Um, and the cops were being, well, respectful to us, at least when I was there, other than the fact that they were tearing down everything around us. So everything that we've set up over the past 58 days, we were watching it torn down right in front of us in a matter of seconds. Um, How were they dealing with the, the materials? What were they doing? They were just like stomping it down. Like they went over to the medical tent with a knife and just started like hacking at the strings that were holding it up. And we all started chanting, that's the medical tent, that's the medical tent just so they knew exactly what they were doing while they were doing it. Um, and then I, I stood up for a moment just to like look around, get my bearing, <laughs> see if there was any possible way that I could go to the bathroom anywhere, which clearly not. So as soon as I stood up and took a few steps, I got grabbed by a police officer who said, get the fuck out of this park, you guys have been here way too long, get the fuck out and handed me off to three police officers who then walked me, you know, a couple meters and then they handed me off to four other police officers who walked me a block down and then handed me off to two other officers who walked me even further and then threw me on the other, not threw me like physically, but sort of like made sure that I was on the other side of the barricade and that I was not to be allowed back in. So. What do you, I, I mean, I know that you've been here for a while. Yeah. Um, what, what been do you, here for about a month. What are you feeling right now? A mix of every possible emotion. Um, I feel like proud that there's still people out here um, resisting these police who are trying to cover up the fact that there's brutality going on. Um, I feel anger because I watched all of my worldly belongings, which wasn't much, just a, a big suitcase, uh, get thrown into a giant truck going who knows where. These are the only clothes I have in the world now. Um, sadness that I wasn't there with the, the people at the kitchen when when the, the moment came that they were dispersed by whatever means. Um, everything. We are the 99%. We are the 99%.